I've been progressing with work on NoTrack again recently, and I've just released version 0.7.15, and I'm really happy with this release. Not to say I haven't been happy with any of the other releases, but this one's quite an improvement. This is just a bit of the background of NoTrack here on my website, but just basically it is a network-wide blocking of tracking websites. Also blocks some advertising websites as well as a byproduct of blocking the tracking websites. So I've got it running on a Raspberry Pi Model 2, and you know, it's actually pretty good. Website is responsive enough, considering this is still an old version of PHP 5.3. My website itself here, this is running on a Raspberry Pi as well, but that's PHP 7, a little bit faster. Anyway, a bit besides the point, all that lot. The features that are now in no track. Well, there's a lot more customization you can now do, and I think that's the bit I'm really sort of proud of, and giving you the opportunity to edit a lot of settings through this web interface. So let's take a look at some of these changes. On the config screen, we now have a side menu. I decided to move it down from the top because it was getting a bit too congested. If we look at block lists, you can see now I add a custom block list. It's a feature I've been wanting to do for a while, but it's working out how to interpret all the files. It's got a pretty good interpretation on it now. You can add at block plus easy lists. We can add them in a few different formats as well, like plain list and uh, Unix lists. Uh, it might work with CSV files. I haven't tried that, but the way it's running now, if it doesn't know what the file is, it will just try and extract what it can. You can either point it to a web address or use a locally stored block list. For example, there's a couple. I've got one locally stored and two as internet addresses. You can either put them on separate lines or do comma separated. It'll work it out. So if we do save changes, there you go, it saved them and formatted the list. If I go back to the home screen, you'll see it now says processing when it's actually processing the block lists. There are now, there's now some advanced settings, so we can suppress domains. Now, the quote here, group together certain domains on the stats page. Let me open the stats page and I'll explain. So you can see here some of these websites have an asterisk at the beginning. One of the ones I added was GStatic, and there's Mozilla. So it just consolidates certain domains. So if they're on various different subdomains, um, yeah, there's a good example, client5.google.com and yt.i.google.com. So if I consolidated google.com, those two items would be now listed as one. You can now access the upgrade from within the config page. Normally the upgrade button only appears if an upgrade is available. So I'm allowing you to force upgrade to a development version. One change that you won't be able to see is I've added deduplication. So what does that mean? Well, I'm probably gonna have to demo this in the terminal. So if I add this list that I know has a lot of duplication in it, and I'll do a force update, so sudo no track force update. It does take a bit longer to get through now in the processing, and memory usage has gone up. So no track using 100% CPU and 1% of memory. So that's 1% of one gig in the Raspberry Pi, isn't it? I calculated it need about 40 meg of RAM. So anyway, processing is done. So you can see imported 1,200 domains into block list, deduplicated 380. So if I'm like deduplication, I'm blocking certain domains here. So let's pick out .mobi. .mobi. So if it sees the website tracker.mobi, well, there's no point in adding that because I'm already blocking at the top level. So tracker.mobi won't be added into the block lists. It'll make it a little bit quicker for the DNS server. Another item for deduplication would be like if you're blocking, say, adserver.com, and it came across this next selection of domains, so let's say uk.adserver.com, de, nl, and fr. Well, again, you're already blocking this part. There is no need to block any of these as well. So these four will be deduplicated or deleted. The deduplication is a feature I'm rather proud of. It'll make it a little bit faster on the DNS server side. Because I did add all the lists that I have available on and it deduplicated 
40 odd thousand domains. <laughs> so yes, that'll improve efficiency. Yes, it takes a little bit longer to process the list, but the lists only get processed, well, at most once per day. They really only process when the lists actually get updated, which for some of them, they can be four days apart. And on mine, it processes that at six o'clock in the morning. I'm not doing too much on the internet at 6 a.m. I'm either rushing to get ready for work or sleeping. <laughs> so that's with a look at some of the new features in NoTrack version 0.7.15. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.